Hey, what's up healthy people? It's Angela with Less Health and my next series of video topics will be about protein bars. Um, I am going to review them based on clean ingredients, uh, overall taste, and then also the amount of protein per measurement, okay, whether it's ounces or grams. So the three brands that I'm going to take a look at, all right, uh, is the Vega, all right, and this particular a Vega protein and snack bar is chocolate peanut butter flavor. Uh, the next one uh, is going to be the Nugo Slim brand. Okay, Nugo Slim. And this is the crunchy peanut butter uh, dipped in real dark chocolate flavor. All right, and then I have the No Cow Bar. Okay, this one is blueberry cobbler. And then I have another No Cow Bar. Uh, that is lemon meringue. All right, so uh, like I said, over the next couple of days, I am going to share that information with you guys. Stay tuned. All right, bar number two is going to be the uh, the blueberry cobbler no cow bar. Let me see that. All right, so starting with the ingredients. How are we doing today, by the way? <laughs> All right, starting with the ingredients. A uh, protein blend of organic brown rice protein and pea protein. Um, something I can't pronounce, but it says it's a type of prebiotic fiber. Uh, almonds, cocoa butter, natural flavor, sea salt, water, dried blueberry powder, erythritol, monk fruit extract, stevia, glycerin. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so <laughs> uh, the ingredients, they, they sound fine, they sound average, they sound pretty normal for a um, protein bar. Um, pretty similar to the other no cow bar, the lemon meringue from the last video I did. So I'm gonna give this one a three also. Okay, it's just average. Um, now getting into the macros and calorie breakdown. So this is 170 calories for one bar. Uh, total fats 2.5 grams, saturated fat 0.5 grams, uh, total carbs is 28 grams, 20 of those grams are from dietary fiber, and then protein is a whopping 21 grams for one bar. Okay. All right, let's give this a taste, shall we? Oh, by the way, the net weight is 2.12 ounces, uh, which is 60 grams, which is going to be important when I go to combine all the videos back together on, uh, I guess what you could say is pound for pound, the best in terms of macros. All right, so blueberry cobbler. Um, looks exactly like the lemon meringue bar. All right, but this one's supposed to be blueberry. So that's a little different. All right, so let's check it out. Okay. This one is dry. Um, it doesn't have a very moist feel to it at all. It does taste blueberry. Um, a hint of blueberry. I don't know if I would go full blown cobbler with this one, but definitely has a blueberry taste. Um, so my taste, um, sorry, trying to, trying to decide. Okay, so my taste scoring system is number one, yuck, never again. Number two, I don't really like it, but I can deal with it. Number three would be a, I like it, or it's okay. Uh, number four is I like it. Um, I wouldn't want it all the time, but pretty regularly it would be fine. And then number five is all the time, yes, this is delicious. Now, this blueberry. I think I'm gonna give it a three. This one's okay. Um, yes, it's kind of dry. Yes, it's kind of got that chunky feel to it. Chalky kind of feel, I mean. Like, you know, when you mix up your protein bar, 
or your protein shake and it's kind of got the, like the little clumps in it, it kind of gives you that vibe but the blueberry taste is pretty pronounced um so i feel like it has good flavor um maybe if i was sipping like some water along with it i think it would probably go over a little bit better so i am going to give this a solid three this is okay all right uh stay tuned the next protein bar review is on its way peace